South Carolina looking to avoid a sweep against Vanderbilt a day after getting no hit by Jack Leiter. There's a borderline pitch to Carter Young. That's been called a strike for the most part this series. Next thing you know, the umpire stops play and reaches for a scorecard. At this point, I'm pretty sure South Carolina coach Mark Kingston has been tossed. He comes out to talk with the umpire, and the umpire keeps telling him to get out of here. This is my team. He's telling the umpire what to put in his ejection report. That's what you're that is exactly, that's my team. I talk to my team. I talk to my team. How do, you How do you know that? He's trying to fire up his team, which had lost six in a row after starting 11 and 0. What I said. Tell me what I said. His team, and there was something about outside. That's what you're gonna put in the report. Is that what you're gonna put in the report? You really couldn't understand the last couple things he said. Now he walks back to the dugout. Friday night starter Thomas Farr gives him a thumbs up, and the entire team is absolutely loving it. He just lit a fire under a team that's been struggling. In college, the rules are that if you get ejected, you have to leave the stadium. So Kingston got his backpack, and he's out of here. Now it looks like we're back into the game, but we aren't. We get a great dugout shot of him leaving, and Kingston is gone. He's on his way back to the team bus, where he probably watched the rest of the game. That's gotta be a weird feeling when you're the coach and you gotta leave the stadium when your team is playing. Now we go to the 8th with South Carolina leading 6-5 and we aren't done with umpire arguments. After CJ Rodriguez strikes out, it looks like Tate Colwick stole second base. Also, shout out to second baseman Braylon Wimmer for trying the hidden ball trick. I actually got this to work once back in junior high. Next thing you know, everybody is running off the field because batter's interference was called. You tell me, he does step out of the box, but I don't know if that's enough to call batter's interference. CJ doesn't think so. Another angle, the catcher looked at him right away and did a little point with his hand, so I guess he thought there was interference. Tim Corbin didn't think so, and now it was his turn to argue with the ump. Unfortunately, the mics didn't pick up anything he said. South Carolina ended up winning the game 6-5, so I guess Mark Kingston did fire up his team by getting ejected. They avoided the sweep and broke that six-game losing streak. I made highlights for all three games of the series. Make sure you check those out if you haven't already. Also make sure to rub a bald head for good luck after a win.